Hey Homo Sapiens and Marbites, it's me Rogue Marby Scott and today we are going to be using the Renaissance palette from Wicked Artistry and we are going to create this Funkadelic look. Now um, I do not have a proper intro or outro just because um, yeah whilst I was recording I got some bad news so I wasn't really feeling up to talking properly so you're just going to see me doing the makeup. So the first thing we're going to start off with is our lids. So as you can see I am preparing my lids for my eyeshadows and I'm using the shade Natural from the LA Girl Pro Concealers and then as you can see I'm just blending it up towards my brow bone and just leaving it there above my crease and then we're going to go in with our first shade which is Crivelli Blue and I'm using a really small thin tapered brush from Morphe. I'll um, put that in the description box below and I'm I'm just making sure that the opacity of this shade is just like wow. Then I'm going into Clue and I'm just going to carefully sketch out where I want it to begin before I start blending it up. So as you can see now I'm blending it up into the uh, Crivelli blue and then I'm just going to create like a blend where it looks really orangey just because I want this to look very funkadelic and whatnot. Then I'm going to go back into the uh, Crivelli Blue just because I've lost it a little bit where it's a bit murky so I'm just going to go back in with some Crivelli Blue right now and then I'm going to use some of the leftover Cloué on that brush just to lightly blend. Now I'm going to cut my crease so to say um, but I'm going to create like a wavy pattern or like a cloud pattern with the concealer that I'm using and once I'm happy with that I will move on to using our next shade. So going in to fill that cloud-like shape, I'm using the shade Botticelli and it's our third shade of the look. So in this look, I think I uh, used at least nine of the shades from the 12 um, pan palette. Uh, my idea was to use every single shade, but I'm not too sure, um, yeah, I, yeah I, I just couldn't do it because some of the colours were just not you know sit well together anyway going back with my concealer to cut that crease again or cut just cut a pattern in and once i've um just kind of outlined where i want it because i want botticelli to be a rim around this next shade that i'm going to do so that's why i'm leaving obviously that space there and um i'm just going to use that really thin small um concealer brush and then once I've done that I'm going in with the shade Gozol, Gozol, Gozoli yeah Gozoli sorry some of these names are a bit hard for me to pronounce so yeah just bear with me I'll throw them up in the description and on screen as well anyway just filling it in all of that and I am going to go all the way down to my lash line because this is kind of like the finishing touches almost but yeah whatever anyway going to create a wing now I'm going to create a wing with my concealer there's a lot of concealer in this look <laughs> anyway so once I've created that wing I am going to go in with the shade Angelico from the outer corner and then I'm going to blend that into the middle where my iris will sit uh, naturally and then I will go on to another shade. So as you can see here I am going in with Angelico and this is a shimmer shade so clearly you can't see it as much as you would in person because of how bright my lights are right now. So just blending that in and then I am going in with the shade Bazaari which is a really lovely shimmery sky blue or sea blue. It's just like, you know, crystal blue, waters blue. Oh, it's just an amazing shade. Anyway, I've got some mistakes up there so I'm just fixing those. Going in now with the shade, what shade was this? I believe this was the shade uh, Donatello that I'm using now just to create some 
you know, just highlight that brow bone, just, you know, and, and it goes so well with the Crivelli Blue, it just makes everything pop. So I mixed some Donatello and Giotto to create my highlight on my cheekbones and now I'm going in with some blush just to you know but I don't really use blush so I felt you know what let me just throw on some blush just you know very light handedly have some blush onto this look because why not then I spritz my face and then I'm just melting all of that together with my beauty sponge now I'm going in with Da Vinci for my uh, lower lash line or the, my bottom lid just because I felt like what's going on on top and it just looks really bare underneath let me just throw on some color but not too much color now I am highlighting my inner corners with Angelico and then I am going to highlight again with some Donatello just to make that whole look pop big bang booty <laughs> going on with a foundation stick I'm just going to make my lips kind of the same color as my uh, skin don't ask me why and then I am going to highlight on top of my uh, lips just a little bit of highlight so not too much just because I want my lips to kind of look nude and I want it to match my skin color more than actually be in a nude skin, um, a nude lipstick. And that Marbites is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. It would mean so much to me and it also helps me out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Marby Scott.